Hi, I'm Sean Mahaffey with Accurate Masonry, and we're going to look at another chimney uh, that I recently tuck pointed, and this one I installed a mortar cap on. So here in the first image, um, you can see that they installed a metal uh, cap that's really just a base um, for this uh, metal vent that's installed uh, down into the basement of this house. But it's got gaps around it where water can seep in. Um, another thing across the top of this chimney, somebody had tuck pointed this. Um, this thing was probably tuck pointed, you know, maybe maybe eight, ten years ago. Um, it's cracking in a lot of places. Uh, it wasn't a great job when they did it. It wasn't the worst job I've seen. So here in the second picture, um, you can clearly see a cracking in the hard mortar at the top and the mortar at the bottom is just wearing out it's essentially turning back to dust and in these head joints in particular you can really see this is just empty and these are just wearing away and uh, the bed joints which are these horizontal joints you can see that they're cracking and crumbling so the prep work um, and I mean one of the things I see guys do is they come in and they just do sort of partial tuck pointing on chimneys I mean this this is a very small chimney and it doesn't take much more effort to grind out the whole thing and tuck point it all in one color uh, than to waste your time doing only parts of it and then have it look different colors all over even this mortar this newer mortar is worn away in spots um, but that's just another angle and you can see that it's just deteriorating here's another the other side of the chimney and the rear of the chimney um, now here I've come in and I've ground these joints back um, and blown blown out the uh, mortar with a blower to really get them cleared back and and then I've come in and tuck point them and hit them with a, a barrel jointer to give the joints a smooth uh, finish and uh, that'll seal them up good. I've installed a mortar cap on this uh, with a product called Cubon, which is a fiberglass reinforced uh, cementitious product. It sets up pretty hard and pretty fast. I put a color into it just to give it some color so it wasn't going to be plain gray. Um, and smoothed it out and then kind of given it some time to set and then hit it with uh, a wet sponge to to uh, keep it damp. In Colorado where I work things dry out and set pretty quick and sometimes you just need to babysit them a little bit just like you would a sidewalk or pouring concrete you don't just pour it and go away from it you sit and work it and work it and work it and then, then go away. Um, Here's a close-up image of that. And we really built this up pretty thick. I mean, this is probably, you know, two and a quarter inch, two and a half inch thick mud. And I just slope it straight down to the edges. Um, so water's not going to sit here and it's going to drain off. There's another image and you can see where I've come back and you can see the sponge marks where I put a little bit of water into a damp sponge and just kind of sponged it. Here's what we see as a final product. Um, the mortar caps lightened up, the colors lightened up on it a little bit. Um, I've also washed the entire chimney down with a muriatic and water uh, mixture uh, to clean off the shingles. You can see there's no residue on the shingles, there's no you know mortar droppings left on the roof we've done a good job of cleaning it there's no residue left on the uh, brick faces um, and then we've got some shots kind of around the chimney so you can see it from different angles when it's finished and it just comes out looking nice and clean and new mortar and this thing's good to go for years to come so if you like what you've seen here uh, check out my website, and uh, if you're in the uh, Denver metro area, give me a call. Thank you.